In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be one of the better running plays in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what my YouTube channel is designed to do is it's designed to help you improve in Madden and I post four videos a day that are going to share some type of tip, strategy, or concept that you can use to improve your game in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right and click that little notification bell icon to the right of that and that's going to allow you to get notified whenever we go live and we live stream every single night right here on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. All right, guys, so this is a video that I wanted to do because I wanted to talk about something that I've been applying out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and that is bunch quads. And I want to show you this play. You do need a mobile quarterback to run this, but you don't have to have a Lamar Jackson. You could have Kyler Murray, you could have Aaron Rodgers, you could have anyone, but I do enjoy using Lamar just because he's the fastest quarterback. But I want to show you this quarterback draw out of a bunch of quads, and this is against some random plays. And basically what it boils down to is you're going to want to just kind of pause him behind the line, let him do a quick block shot, and here's what you see. You see the holes just open up for this run. Now, if they're blitzing everybody on their team, I don't recommend running this run. In fact, if they blitz everybody, what I actually recommend you do is go to the play spacing because you're going to see here, and of course, uh, throw an interception around the first pass. Um, well, what you're going to see is I'm going to audible to like a heavy pressure blitz. So like LB Cross. Let's say they do that. Well, you can throw these quick reads here, these quick slant routes against press man or uh, against off coverage man blitzes. Now, let me show you what it looks like if we run into um, a, a pressure blitz. So QB draw, literally all I'm gonna do is let it stop. And then you see here, I can kind of weave in and out. What I like about this run is, if you think about the way that Le'Veon Bell used to run the ball with the Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the things that he would do is he would basically pause, look for the hole, and you see how the corners are basically being taken out of the play. Because the passing routes are on this route, because there's the the, the quarterback, uh, um, because the wide receivers are running routes, that is what allows this play to be very, very effective. And if you want to clean up that left side, all you've got to do is motion the receiver over to the left here. You get this kind of spread, trips, look to the right. And what's going to happen is those linebackers are going to drop back. Basically, if they are in zones, if they are in zones or they're in man-to-man -man coverage, they're going to drop back. Now, what's going to happen is what happens when they blitz? Well, if you see a heavy blitz, most of the time, the blitzers are going to come from either right edge, left edge, or middle. So like right here, they're coming from the middle. So I can just come out. I, this is why I recommend having Lamar Jackson. If you have a quarterback that has really is really, really fast and can outrun some of these pressures, this makes us even better. Because what's going to happen is you're going to see something like this. You're going to see they're going to blitz everybody down. It's a seven-man blitz out of three, four odd. Watch what happens here. You see how they slide to take away that edge? And then if you make one juke on a corner and you are gone. That is what I love about this run. Literally what I recommend doing 100%, just stand there. You see right there, if the, if the corner comes clean off the edge, most of the time they're not going to come clean off of both edges. But if they do come clean off of the edge, what I want to show you really quickly is I want to show you what it looks like if you get really, really heavy edge protect edge blitz. So here the, they're coming off the edge. Oh, I'm just going to cut right underneath it, right in here. And you see, you see how effective this run is. Now, I do want to warn you, you want to mix this run in. You don't want to spam this run because the defenders, for the way the game is going to play it, is your quarterback, if he takes a, if he gets tackled, while he doesn't fumble very much, at least in my opinion this year, they don't really fumble that much, they get really, really fatigued. And if they're fatigued, they're not going to be able to hit the cuts. They're not going to be able to hit the holes that we want them to hit. But I've had a lot of success with this run. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see, have you guys tried this run out? I think that what I love about this run is also one other, one other quick tip with this. Let's say you're running, let's say you're running this play. Well, if you playmaker the you can playmaker this run to the right or to the left. That's going to tell your lineman, and you can also slide protect, and you can also double team someone. So if I want to take this defensive in here completely out of it, here you see there's the double team, and then now it's basically a power sweep to the left. One other quick tip with this. You can do this both ways. So, for example, let's say that I see them doing there. All right, here's down one four six, and they're going to set the pressure up off the edge. 
Well, what I can tell my quarterback or what I can tell my, my team to do is I can slide protect to the left. I can also double team, uh, double team whoever I want, and I can ID this guy on the outside. What you'll see here with this blitz, they're going to pick that guy up because I ID'd him because it's pass protection, and then I'm out in the open field. This is a little tip that I really think makes this run even better than it already was because they can't quite send pressure from the edges. Now, if you want to run, maybe you want to do something. Maybe you want to let the pressure come in off the edge and then you run right down the middle. You can do that as well. This just allows you the opportunity and the flexibility to get away from the defense because if you face something like this right here, you're not going to want to run directly into this you see here if i run directly into this i'm probably going to get shedded or i'm going to get tackled just because of where the linemen are however what if you did this so i'm running qb draw i'm going to id this guy and i'm going to double team this guy right here snap of the ball and whoops i'm sorry i probably shouldn't have double teamed if you just id and slide it's probably what you need to do but you can mess around with this little technique because this is really going to help you you see you get that double team on that left side and then now we're out of here with Lamar into the open field and voila. This play right here because of the passing routes is a really, really serviceable run this year. Um, the way that the the way that the guys just fall away from it, the defenders just fall away from it are incredible. Even if they're in a spy. And let me show you one other technique that people will use to stop this run. So maybe they'll do something like this. They'll spy these guys. Watch where the spies go on the draw. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double team the farthest guy on the outside or ID him, snap the ball. Oh, he's in a spy. You see how the spies kind of lurk it. So that does help the run defense. But you think about this, you're in a five wide set and he's having to spy both of his safeties to stop a quarterback draw. Like to me, you've won the game if you can get it to that. And you'll see here, I mean, even the spies, you can kind of, you can kind of glitch out the spies a little bit um, if you run directly uh, directly at them. So we'll show you this here. So there's a spy to the left side. I'm just going to run right through the hole. The spies are going to force you to run more, more north south. But this is a pretty solid run. Let me know your thoughts on this run. Have you tried this run out? How is it done for you? I feel like this is a really, really good play that I've been starting to go to uh, when I see someone's consistently wanting to run Diamond 146 on me. And, you know, just double tap square to slide, and then you don't take the quarterback hits. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't joined the channel Discord yet, be sure to do that. Discord is a great place for us to be able to connect as an entire community, for you to meet players, other players from my community that are doing other things as well, for you to share your favorite plays and for you to talk Madden 21 and get your questions answered so that we can be better together. Also, if you have Madden questions, be sure to text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. We will see you on tonight's live stream, and we'll have three more videos coming to you on our YouTube channel today. So be sure to check the YouTube channel for the latest updates.